90 individuals are still missing after Saturday's catastrophic mudslide in Washington. Rescue workers were still continuing to search for the scores of people still listed missing after a disastrous landslide in Washington state, as a river backed up behind the debris field. 16 bodies being found dead. The only good news is that the number of those missing has fallen from 176 to 90. Entire families are still suspected missing though. Those in Washington have also been experiencing heavy rainfall, similar to the weather in the UK. Officials Daniel Miller and Lynn Rogers Miller warned us of the mudslide 15 years ago, and then again in 2004, and then again in 2010. The rain was the first clue, so why did nobody take the hill? So many people have paid the price. I agree, so many families are now incomplete, and a hundred crews have been deployed to search for survivors using search dogs, sonar devices, hovercraft and air support to help the search. Finding people isn't always good news though, because sometimes they're stuck in the mud too deep to be rescued and they often just sink back in. However, there are many ex exceptions to this and perhaps one of the most quoted cases is the four-year-old boy who is one of the eight people in the mudslide. He was the only one who ex escaped from the mud. His family is still there. He was there since Saturday though, and was rescued today, so there's still hope for those who are still in the mud. Many inspirational people have also been involved in the disaster. In fact, President Obama reacted incredibly to the situation and declared on Tuesday that Washington is an emergency state. He also ordered federal authorities to coordinate the disaster relief effort. But perhaps, most inspirationally, he also asked all Americans to pray for those affected by the disaster.